Um, what was the decision to go to England to fight Cal Brook? Why not make Cal Brook come to the United States since he is defending his championship belt? You know, uh, it started, honestly, it started with the discussions after we couldn't make the Canelo fight. It started with the discussions of Billy Joe Sanders. He made it clear that he preferred the fight against Gennady in the UK. In order to try to make that fight, we, you know, after speaking with Gennady and Abel, uh, they agreed to go there to fight. And Gennady has over 350 amateur fights in his career. He's fought all over the world. Well, we just uh, saw the Olympic Games. He won the silver medal in uh, 2004 Olympics. Um, so he doesn't care where he fights. He told me before, look, the ring is this size here. It doesn't matter if it's in the gym. It doesn't matter if it's in LA, New York, London. You just, uh, it's the ring and just whoever's in the other corner. My job is to put the other, <laughs> the other fighter in, in, in the other corner or in the ring. And so it wasn't really a hard decision. And uh, with the reaction and with the with the demand from the UK fans, we already had after uh, we couldn't make the Saunders fight. Eddie Hearn had already reserved the O2 Arena for September 10th. You already had booked the date for uh, Sky uh, uh, Sky Box Office, the pay per view platform, uh, and so it was already everything was already in motion to go September 10th in London when he was able to get Cal Brook to. Uh, to accept the fight, uh, that's that's why it, it just made sense to stay in London. Do you think it's going to be a hostile environment for him, or do you think the fans are going to enjoy him going for Triple G? You know what? I think the uh, well, I know the the uh, British boxing fans are very educated boxing fans. They appreciate talent. Um, you know what showed me is that Gennady really has transcended the sport of boxing. Not one demographic, not one nationality. It's just everyone appreciates his his style. Is when he fought Marco Antonio Rubio at the Stub Up Center. He set the attendance record at the Stub Up Center. So many great fighters have fought, have fought before at the Stub Up Center. And now he actually set the, the record. And there is a large majority of Mexican boxing fans that were chanting for Triple G. So that showed me that he can transcend, you know, really the, the nationalities. And, I, and I'm sure. Kel, look, Kel Brook's a very popular fighter in the UK. He's got his own very strong fan base that he's built up. He's another fighter that's not afraid. He fought Sean Porter in that arena at the Stub Up Center, so he's not afraid to leave the UK and fight internationally. And uh, he's going to have a lot of supporters, but we know Gennady is also going to have a lot of supporters, so we expect it to be a, a tremendous uh, atmosphere in the arena. But I would say uh, it's going to be a very evenly mixed uh, fan base. Thank you. Any more questions? Yeah. Right, Mark, a question for Gennady. Um, when you first came to America, nobody knew who you were. Now, as Tom mentioned, you've transcended the sport. You've sold out arenas in Los Angeles, New York, now London. Four years later, did you ever think you'd be this popular? Oh, I always give my thanks because it's, it's not important. Yeah, of course, I come to the United States. You know, nobody does know who I am. Everybody knows my style, you know, after first round, the first fight, everybody loves my style. I hope, I hope I want to see the game. After this fight, everybody loves my style. Just respect my fans. Anyone? Anyone else questions? Okay, we're going to let uh, the picture of the best is worth it. Yeah.